So to begin with, I want to talk about how your brain works as far as habits go, because it really helps us to understand what goes on when we're trying to change habits and why it is so incredibly difficult. Your brain and your thoughts work on neural pathways. So it's literally like having little roads inside your head. And when things happen, when you think things, when you make decisions, there's little neurons and little that are traveling along different pathways. Let's say I present you with information and you need to make a decision. The very first time I present that to you, your brain has to decide what to do with this and where to go. So your brain has to choose a path. The very first time you're exposed to this, your brain has to choose a path. The first time that your brain chooses that path, it's got to actively think about this and it decides that it's going to go in that direction. So when, you're, when you arrive at point A and you have to make a decision, your brain looks around and it decides it's going to go to B and so it carves out a path to B. The second time that I put you in position A, your brain is going to take less time to decide where to go because in the past it's gone to B, so it's going to go back to B. The third time you go there, decision is easier, smoother, path, da, 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 and fine. So eventually what happens is that every time you're put in position A, your brain goes straight to B. That, that process is now automated. You don't even have to think about it. There's no thought. It is absolutely instant. The moment I drop you in position A, your brain is already at B because your brain and the, works incredibly fast. It's amazing. It works incredibly quickly. And it's really important, I want you to realize it's really important that your brain is not actively thinking about what to do with that information. It's already decided. That is a habit. It's an embedded path. The moment I drop you here, your brain has already gone there. You're not sitting there actively making a decision of like, hmm, what am I going to do with this information? Where am I going to go? You're already there. By the time you have asked yourself, what have I done? You're already there. If you want to change a habit, you hit an enormous amount of resistance because you put yourself in A and you're like, I want to go there now. I want to go to C. I don't want to go to B. I want to go to C. First, your brain is going to offer an enormous amount of resistance because it, it's going there. It knows there. It knows how to get there. It's there. It's automated. So by the time you realize that actually I didn't want to go to B, I wanted to go to C, you're already at B. So you kind of have to drag this back, drag your brain back and go, no, 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 we don't want to be at B, we want to be at C. But your brain doesn't like this. It's uncomfortable, it's new, it doesn't have a pathway. So I talk about your habits as highways and jungles. The more that you travel along a certain path and do a certain thing and think a certain way, your brain creates a highway, like a neural highway. And every time I drop you in this position, your brain goes on the highway. It's easier, it's faster, it's more comfortable. I know what I'm doing. It can be automated and it's instant. Now, when I drop you at this point, your brain does not ask you permission. It does not consciously say, here I am, what shall I do with this and wait for an answer? It decides for you instantaneously, we're going there. If you want to change that habit, it's like facing a jungle. It's an Amazon jungle. There's no path, there's no road. So obviously, if you're sitting at point A and you have the option of going to B, which is a highway, beautifully carved out, simple, known, etc., versus carving your way through a jungle, what do you think your brain's going to do? The path of least resistance. It's going to choose B. If I want to go to C, the first couple of times that I take this path, I have to carve out a pathway. My brain doesn't know the path. It doesn't like the path. It doesn't want to be there. It wants to be over there. So you're going to continually find as you hit a, an obstacle, as you hit a challenge, as you hit something that's hard, your brain's going to go, no, 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 this is ridiculous. I'm not doing this. I'm going back there. And so it'll change paths back again. And so continually, as you're carving out this path, you lose those battles very often because your brain is so embedded in going in that direction. That's where I want to be. That's what I know. That's what I'm comfortable with. And so you may decide to carve out a path to C and you're halfway there and you land up back at B.